Hello again people, it's me, Edward King. Um, I don't know what video number this is, but uh, I put out a number of videos. And uh, <coughs> not so often videos of myself, but um, here I am. And um, this is me, a uh, normal, average sort of person, I guess. Uh, well, I guess others would say I'm not so average. but. Um, uh, yeah, messed up hair and uh, missing teeth and all, a real living person. Uh, the reason I'm making this video uh, this evening uh, while my children are in bed sleeping and there's no interruptions and uh, the wife is at rest here and uh, it's just nice and quiet myself here tonight. I haven't been getting much sleep because the girls have been ill and uh, I'm, I'm here for them like a, a loving father should be when he can be. I messed a lot uh, around with the lighting here. I, 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 I messed with it because uh, I had a lot of uh, complaints about my videos not having good lighting. and. This is the best I can come up with uh, right now, uh, as it is, because I have to use artificial lighting at night. And I also have to keep looking down and watching the time, because I'm limited for time, but I just thought I'd explain that I'm trying to work on the lighting, uh, get it uh, a little better than normal. Um, this is a special video for me, because uh, this will be the first time that I actually come out on record uh, publicly uh, with my own mug actually declaring this uh, on voice and you know live camera type of thing uh, well you know it, this is not going to be so easy for me to uh, come straight forward with and I'm glad I have a little bit of time and and the reason for it it's not because I am personally ashamed of making the statement that I am about to make or uh, because uh, um, I've committed some sort of crime against society or anything like that but more like it just seems that the mainstream population is just not ready for the truth. And truth be told, the truth is just not that popular. Uh, people don't like the truth, uh, generally speaking. It's not welcome and it's more like, you know, get it out of my face because I want to live my fantasy and uh, you're messing it up. And, I mean, some people really take it personally. I mean, some people really take it uh, to heart, uh, you know, uh, when you mess up their concept of reality or you give them something that's, you know, contrary to what they wished reality would be. Um, there's some real sickos out there. They're, you know, they're stalkers and, uh, uh, you know, I have the liberty of uh, being so far out of the city that, uh, you know, generally the people where I live that know me know I pose no threat. But um, if I move to the city or something like that, I, I may not be safe just because, because there's some wackos out there. But I thought about this, you know, and, if I allow that to stop me, then I'm living in fear. And I, I am just not the sort of person that likes to live in fear. I mean, uh, I've lived over 50 years now, and I have a whole volume of life information. I am a character, I have to admit, I am a character. You're not going to find another person like me. That, that is a fact. Um, I'm not saying this to 
sound, you know, like some kind of exceptional world worship me dude. In fact, I sure don't want anyone's worship. I don't want anyone's worship. Um, but I, I do have to say, you know, from what I've learned about people and what I've seen about people, yeah, I'm a character. I can't help it. But that's what I am. Um, uh, having said that about myself and why I'm you know, coming off as being so egocentric this evening is uh, because of what I am about to say. And, you know, if, if, if you're faint of heart and you just want to be uh, uh, mainstream, you know, or if you're one of these people that says, you know, hey, uh, you know, I, I want to be... Uh, 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 what do they call it? A non-conformist like everybody else. You know, well, uh, good for you. Be what you are. You know, if, if, if that's what you are, fine. Be what you are. Uh, but um, I have to be honest. And I'm doing this for me. This is all about me, yes. You know, if you, if you can't handle uh, somebody talking about themselves, okay, you know. You know where the X button is. <clears throat> but, I'm doing this for me. First of all, before I pursue with this, and I don't have a lot of time, but for the record, I want to state that it's the paranoid people that are busy observing and uh, putting their noses in other people's business and you know putting people in surveillance and uh, all this sort of thing and we're, we're living in a really paranoid world we're living in a world where you know I mean there's the eye in the sky there's the eye on the street you know there's the eye of the webcam and um, uh, everybody's you know busy looking in everybody else's backyard everybody's spying on everybody else and there's all these lawsuits flying around and it, it's hilarious really because most of your most of you who are listening to this your phone is being tapped okay I know enough about electronics uh, seriously I know enough about electronics to tell you your phone is being tapped and you're under surveillance so make the best of it you know we're all under surveillance. If you got a webcam, you're under surveillance. Okay, your little camera movie thing you're making isn't just limited to what you're making. Trust me on this. Okay, you're you are generating a signal for anyone, anyone who wants to to watch. You. And uh, if you're okay with that, fine. All right. If you're not okay with that, well, you need to wake up because that's the way it is um, that really is the way it is and I thought about this you know I mean I understand privacy is important and I think people should actually have that option they should have privacy I think privacy is a valuable thing but so is openness and honesty and I think many of us are being made to be fearful of being open and honest because of what others might think or because of what the law might think or because of what you know, is acceptable by, by today's norms or today's standards. I'm sorry, I just don't think life is worth living if you have to crawl under a rock and hide in fear of people. It's just that this has gotten out of hand. The government has too much control. Okay, it's got everybody shaking and paranoid. Uh, that's how they want you, by the way. They want you, you know, fearful. And th this, this is terrible. This is a terrible way to live. You know, the internet has you all fearful. Bill Gates has you all fearful. Uh, this new surveillance law that came in, you know, uh, has people all fearful. And people are just living in fear. Um, so, I guess in my own way, I'm, I'm going to rebel against that. 
because this is sick. The, we are really living in a very sick society. And, um, you know, uh, I think that anyone who believes in God, anyone with a conscience, should start speaking out against this fear. It, it's responsible for most of the bloodshed we see, all the suffering we see, all the pain and misery and sorrow in this world, all this fear. Uh, listen, I have to get this off my chest. I, I have to actually do this on camera. I want to tell the whole world what sort of man I am. First of all, honesty, forthrightness, truthfulness, openness and honesty are beyond virtues. They're the very substance of all that is valuable in humanity because it deals with reality. And you can't arrive at the truth without being honest first. And I feel a burden on my heart to the whole world to be honest and forthright and truthful. I mean, I don't have to, you know, tell them what brand of underwear I wear, whatever. You know, look, that's not what I mean about being honest or truthful or forthright. But I will say this much. Here goes. I am a polygynist. I'm a polygynist. Um, a polygynist, not a polygonist, but a polygynist, is someone who believes that it's okay for a man to have more than one wife. That's the sort of man I am. Okay, I believe it's okay. Um, there are purists out there that believe it's okay, and they only have one wife. I only have one wife. Okay, um, it can be argued, yes, but Edward, you've had more than one wife. Well, that's true, I have. I, I, I have had more than one wife. But currently, as it stands, I only have one wife. And I do believe that it's okay for me to have another wife. And moreover, my wife believes it too. And I'd like to address those people of conscience, those people who really believe in an almighty God, uh, to tell them it's okay for a man to have more than one wife and I would like them to know if, if they disagree with me I would like them to know that still it's okay for a man to have more than one wife and if they do disagree with me then I challenge them to show me okay the three major uh, religions that believe three Three major religions believe in an only one God. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about those other religions out there. Okay, I'm talking about those who believe in the Almighty One. Okay, uh, uh, I, I believe there's Judaism. They call it. Okay, and uh, there is the Muslim faith, and there is uh, the uh, Christian faith. These are the labels that are attached to these, where where, where they say they call themselves monotheist one God believers okay if you believe in one almighty God like I do I challenge you to show me I don't care which book you can show me in the Quran you can show me in in, in the in the Pentateuch uh, okay the Tanakh okay the, the Torah of the Tanakh not your Talmud if you have a Talmud I don't want to even talk to you I don't want to waste my time with you you, you believe in Satan and that's your God okay but uh, if you believe in the almighty one okay Yahweh, okay, if you believe in him, if you, if you, or if you, you know, you, you call your God Allah, okay, or, you know, you call your God Jesus, okay, the one almighty God, if you believe in the one almighty God, then I challenge you to show me where your God in your book says it's a sin for a man to have more than one wife, because, friend, you will not find it, it's not in there, it's not in the Torah, it's not in the Quran. It is not in the New Testament either. It is not a sin for a man to have more than one wife. 
Furthermore, God never said it. And I am a polygynist. And uh, I'm totally open to the idea of having another wife, by the way. Just put, thought I'd put that plug out there. So God bless you all, and uh, good evening. And God bless you all.